Just how smart are Mabari supposed to be, anyway? The legions of evil are on your doorstep! They will feast upon our hearts! There is nowhere to run! This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts! Please, you're scaring the children! Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at Darkspawn hands! There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This man bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Please stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn! No! I won't listen to the words of a man tainted by Darkspawn! I ran, hearing my wife's screams as they dragged her off. <laughs> he was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to dinner him. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. I shall do it. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. Yes? Who might you be? I see. I am Sir Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Oh, I have no time to even think about such things right now. My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Travel safely and may the Maker watch over you. There will be no fighting in here. You've and been when warned. the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first.
Might I suggest 30 silver? Farewell to you then, my son. And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. My mission takes priority. But I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall 